Now that it's May, kids probably already have their eyes set for summer break. So what better way to kick off vacation than with a pair of new kicks? Yeah, and one Ohio nonprofit is getting things started on the right foot, so to speak. WLWT News Science Chris Jacobs joining us with a look at a big, big donation to Pleasant Hill Academy. Hi, Chris. Hey guys, Shoes for the Shoeless leading the charge on this day of charity. 50 of their volunteers showing up to Pleasant Hill this morning with hundreds of brand new shoes and socks. The kids were pretty excited as they got fitted and laced up. Look at all those shoes there. This was actually the first time the organization visited a Cincinnati public school. Now the students may be walking out with some new style on their feet, but the nonprofit's leader says this is more of a health donation. Executive Director Chris Horlocker, who's also a nurse, says shoes too big or too small can lead to a number of foot and developmental problems. We spoke to both her and the assistant principal of Pleasant Hill today. It's not just shoes and socks. It never has been for us. It's shoes and socks, but it's kindness. It's love. It's fun music. It's running. It's playing. It's joy. It's relief. We ease suffering in every way that we can in the two hours that we're here. It is a welcome kind of sight to just see happy kids enjoying the experience and to be able to get fitted for new gym shoes. Uh, we're just really excited. Um, we couldn't have asked for a better turnout and the volunteers that are in our building today are really helping our students. Well, Horlocker says the biggest gift she wants the kids to leave with is fun. Shoes for the Shoeless is looking to work with more Cincinnati area schools, but is in need of more funding, volunteers, and of course support. If you're interested in helping out, you can go to WLWT.com and look for the story in our link. Look for the link in our story. The Shoes for the Shoeless site has all the information about volunteering and upcoming events. Reporting in the studio, Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5. All right, Chris.